So first we'll start with the NOT gate. Basically this NOT gate is also known as the inverter gate. It just inverts whatever input you give. For example, if we give 0 as input, it will give 1 in output. Instead of 0, if we give 1 as input, it will give us 0 in output. So it is ultimately inverting the input and that is why it is known as inverter gate or NOT gate. Now let us explore what is inside this NOT gate. How this NOT gate is constructed? What are the components used in this NOT gate? Okay, so this is a single transistor circuit, a simplified circuit for the NOT gate. Here we are giving input and we are getting output over here. It's VCC and ground. This is the simplified circuit, not actual one. But the actual works the same way as of this circuit. When we give zero in input, what happens? Here it is VCC, this transistor works as a switch and because we are giving zero in input, it will not turn on and whatever supply we are getting, will get it in output and that is why we get one in output. Now instead zero, what happens when we give one as input? So when there is one as input, the transistor works as a switch and that switch gets turned on and when the switch gets turned on, the voltage we get across transistor, ideally it should be zero. Practically it's almost 0 0.7 around. So the voltage we are getting which is less than the threshold voltage and that is why this circuits denote is as zero output. So whenever the input is one, the output would be zero. So from that understanding, this truth table is clear to everyone. And as per this truth table, we can write that the output y is nothing but the a bar. So y is equal to a bar. The next gate we are going to understand that is AND gate. And to learn that, let's quickly jump to the next video.